Move this way a little bit. <laughs> Welcome everyone to our annual flight raising ceremony here in City Hall in Holyoke. As we all know, October is designated as Polish American Heritage Month. This was first established in Philadelphia in 37 years ago. And I wish to thank Mayor Alex for joining us today and he will issue a proclamation. At this point in time, I think we would like to sing the national anthems. So uh, we'll start with the American. Oh, Thank you very much, you sounded very nice. At this time I'd like to introduce the mayor of Alex Moore. The mayor Alex, he said the Polish M. I hear him, him. They go in I almost know that anthem after seven years of you singing it here, so. Um, thank you again for coming to City Hall for this annual event, and uh, it's always great to see uh, members of the Polish community in Holyoke and beyond I know we have residents from other communities as well. And, um, you know, I do a lot of events here at City Hall and flag raisings, and this is always one of my favorite events. Um, all of you are always so welcoming and warm, and just really appreciate you bringing the Polish heritage and culture to us here in the city of Holyoke. Um, I do want to, I know we typically do this the first or second day of uh, October uh, to mark the entire month, and so I apologize that I was out of town early last week, and so I appreciate you being willing to do this event uh, th early this week. And um, also apologize, I couldn't make it on Sunday to the banquet. I know I have a good time every year that I go. I know Tessa likes to go as well, and Polish beer is one of the specialties that we get uh, once a year. Uh, but I hope the event on Sunday went well, and I look, look forward to, to being back uh, next year. Uh, of course, I want to thank uh, Joe Koss, a Holyoke resident, for his work in putting this event together uh, every year. Um, and the members of the, of the Polish American Congress here in Western Massachusetts. Also want to thank Andres and Nilka and my office for helping uh, get the press release out um, and organizing a uh, little reception. So after this uh, ceremony concludes, we will um, welcome you into the office as we always do. Uh, we have coffee and some snacks and, and whatnot for you all to enjoy and spend a little time in the mayor's office. Uh, but I do have an official proclamation uh, that I will read um, as I always do. Whereas in 1608, when the first Polish settlers arrived at Jamestown, Virginia, Polish people have been an important part of America's history and culture. In 2018, Polish Americans will mark the 38th anniversary of the founding of the Polish American Heritage Month 
an event which began in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and became a national celebration of Polish history, culture, and pride. And whereas the Polish people have been loyal and courageous, sharing a passion for faith and freedom, Poland's devotion shines so brightly through the centuries in years of peace and in times of hardship, war, and occupation that it inspires the people of free nations to a deeper appreciation of their liberty and the people of captive nations to a higher plane of hope. And whereas Polish Americans will also mark the 239th anniversary of the death of General Kazimierz Pulaski, father of the American cavalry, Poland has given humanity much through the genius of such giants as Copernicus, Madame Curie, Henryk Sienkiewicz, Joseph Conrad, Chopin, and Paderewski. Poland has likewise given America much through patriotism like that of Pulaski, witness like that of John Cardinal Kroll, and the innumerable contributions of generations of Polish immigrants and their descendants. And whereas this year marks the 1052nd anniversary of Christianity in Poland, on November 11, 2018, Poland marks the 100th of its rest, 100th anniversary of its restoration on the map of Europe, regaining its independence after 123 years of political partitions. And whereas the American people feel unwavering unity with the Polish people now more than ever, Poland's saga must be our own. The freedom loved and advanced so much through the years by loyal Poles and Polish Americans is on the march in every continent today because freedom is a universal and eternal cause. As we celebrate Polish American Heritage Month 2018, we celebrate the promise of freedom, the power of faith, and the best in America's history and future. Therefore, be it resolved that I, Mayor Alex B. Morse, do hereby proclaim and designate the month of October 2018 as Polish American Heritage Month in the city of Holyoke. So thank you again for giving me this honor and happy Polish American Heritage Month in the city of Holyoke. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor. Again, I'd like to thank Keshwaf Orshak, who raised the Polish flag and will fly over the city of Hoyok the entire month of October. Again, as uh, the Mayor mentioned, this is a special year for Poland. On November 11th, 2018, that marked not only the end of World War I, but it also marked the Gaining Poland gaining its independence after 123 years of being carved up by three empires, Germany, Russia, and the Austro-Hungarian Empire. From 1795 to 1918, Poland was literally wiped off the maps of Europe. And that independence was gained on November 11th 1918, and this year it marks the 100th anniversary. So thank you all for coming today. As the mayor said, he's inviting everyone to his office for a little snacks.